Hey everybody and welcome back to another Darkfall tutorial. So today we're going to be creating the eye colour change node and we've changed the colour of somebody's eyes in a previous tutorial and if you want to check that out you can go and click up here but essentially we're going to recreate those nodes and then save them out and if you guys want to download them there'll be a link in the blog but what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up a quick scene and then recreate them and then save them out. So for those of you who want to follow along, there'll also be timestamps in the description, so just skip to the part that you want to see. So the first thing we could do is load up our library of nodes. So if you've already got a library of nodes that you've created or downloaded, then go ahead and open it up. If you've not got a library of nodes, you can just create a general and go ahead and create a new one. So I'll just do this from scratch, even though I have a library, so I can just append them in later. So let's go ahead and set up some workspaces. We need to click this plus button here. Go to VFX, and let's add in Emotion Tracking. Then let's also add in VFX Compositing. And then we can right click on this general here and just delete it. Now you don't really need to do this step with the motion tracking if you just purely want to create the node group. Um, I'm just doing this step so you guys can see what's happening and what's going on. So again, if this is boring you, you can just jump ahead. Um, there'll be a timestamp and you can see where we create the nodes. So let's get rid of these two windows here. So I'm going to right click in the middle, join the area. Do the same thing for down here. Go ahead and load up your movie clip. So since we're only creating the nodes in this file, we don't really need to worry about anything else. But I'm just going to show you the process or the workflow of how you would use this node. So first, let's set scene frames and then let's prefetch this. And by the way, I'm going to speed through this. Um, if you want to check out the full tutorial, as I mentioned, there will be a link. So go ahead and click that. But now we have this. Uh, we need to add some tracking markers since the face moves. So jump to the first frame. We can change this to location rotation. We can change the match to previous frame and make sure we enable normalize. Then go over here to track, control left click, hold alt S to enable the search area. Now we can scale this up by pressing S and let's move this over here a bit. Let's scale this down a bit. There we go. So now with this one selected, if we scroll down, we can choose copy from active track. So when we add a new tracking mark, it will be the same size. Let's go over here, control left click. And there we go. So now we have these. I'm going to press A to select both of them. Then I'm going to track these forward. Jump back to the first frame. And now we need to create a couple of masks. So now let's jump over to the masking mode. So we could go over here and change it from tracking to masking. Or we can just press tab and it'll switch it for us. Now let's go over here and click new. And this is going to be for the eyes. Remember, we're going to have a couple of masks, so it's good to name these now. So now if we left click, we can add a 2D cursor. Then if we hold shift and press A, we can add a circle. Then we can press S to scale it and G to move it around. And it's also a good idea to leave an edge between here. So don't go all the way to the edge like this, but leave, leave a bit of a gap. Now let's add another one over here. Now we have these, we need to parent them to the tracks. So deselect everything by pressing A. Then select this marker here, press B, select all of these here, and then press Control P. Now this has been parented. Now we can do the same for this one. So that's the eye mask done. Let's click New. Add a new mask. This is going to be for the eyelids. And it's the same process. We're just going to add a mask and then parent each of them to the tracking markers. And again, we've done this before, so I'm just going to speed through this. So there we go for the eyelids mask. If the person is blinking, you need to animate the blinks as well, which we've done in a previous tutorial. If I can remember where it is, I'll throw a link up here. But now we have this. There's one more mask that I want to create, and that's for the garbage mask. Now, if you can see here, there's some reflections in the eyes. Now, we don't want to change these colors. We just want to keep these white. So I'm just going to create one more mask for this. So I'll click new, call this garbage. And so I'm going to create a circle here and then just create a custom one here, each in the layers. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of mask layers here. Now that's okay, it's not a problem. We just need to parent these now to the tracks like we did with the other masks. So press A to make sure everything is deselected. 
select this tracking marker here. Then I'm going to press B and just select all of these here on this side. And then hold Control and press P. Now these have been parented. Press A, deselect everything. Select this tracking marker here. Press B, select all of these. Control P and there we go. So that's the last mask done. We can jump over to actually building the nodes. So let's jump over to the compositing. Now as always we need to click use nodes. We have a render layer here so select the render layer. You can press X to delete it or you can hold shift S and change the type. Again this will only work if you've got the node wrangler add-on enabled and if you haven't got the node wrangler add-on enabled you definitely should. It saves you a whole bunch of time. Anyway so let's change this to a movie clip and then we can select this movie clip icon and choose the movie clip that we've been working with. Let's go ahead and add in a viewer node. Hold Control shift and then left click on this node. So if you've already downloaded the eye color change node, all you'll have to do is go to file, then down to append, then just search for the file that it's saved to. Then we can go to the node tree and then select the node that you want to append, just append it from the library. So now you can shift A, go to group, and drop in the eye color change. So let's go ahead and add in our first mask, shift A, input mask, select the mask icon, and we want to choose the eye mask and then just plug this into the eye mask. Now straight away we can see we have this and this is down to the output so let's go over to the output. We can see here the resolution it's only 50% so let's increase this to 100. You also want to make sure that the video resolution is the same so even though we've increased this to 100 it still stayed the same and it just needs to update so we could either jump forward a frame and then jump back or you can just unplug the mask and then plug it back in and it should work. Now we don't really see much difference apart from maybe this little light area here. If we go ahead and change the colour to say green. So it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and add our second mask. So we can select this eye mask, shift D to duplicate it. Let's change this one to eyelids. Plug this into the eyelids mask. There we go, we just get rid of that extra bit we don't need. And again, if the person is blinking, this will work because of this mask. And finally, let's add one more mask to fix the white areas here. So select this, Shift D, change this to garbage, and then you can plug this into the garbage mask. There we go, we fixed the highlights. Now we have some options we can play around with. First we have the eye color brightness, so we can see the eye color here. We can actually uh, brighten this by bringing this value down. We can also increase the brightness of the white areas if we wanted to. Again, you don't want to go too crazy with this value, otherwise it looks ridiculously fake. Uh, so yeah, be careful with this value. Make sure you don't go too crazy. And then we have the feather values, which will soften the edges. If we zoom in, we can see we have sharp lines. So let's go ahead and soften these up. So for the eye mask feather, this would be the outside. Let's give this a high amount. Now the eyelids mask feather, this would be this section here. This one only needs a small amount, that's why I made it separate from this value, so maybe four. And the garbage mask, and this will only need a small amount as well. And we can change this color to be whatever you want. Another thing you might want to do is if we select this node and then tab into it, we see this node here, this one that I've left open. We can change this blend mode from soft light to something else, and it'll give you a different result. So if we change this to say multiply, then tab back out of it, see it's a lot more darker but maybe more natural and if you wanted to brighten this back up again you can do so we could change this to any color we want we could even go into some unnatural colors it looks pretty cool but yeah you can go ahead and change and play around with this so this will save us a whole bunch of time and um, speeding up our workflow so again you can download this if you want to or we can go ahead and create it which I'm gonna do now I'm gonna create it again so if you guys want to follow along let's go ahead and do that now so I'm just gonna delete this node and just move these out of the way for now so shift A, let's go to color, add in a mix node, drop this in, then let's bring this first mask back over, this eye mask here, plug this into the factor, and we can see we have this, then if we select the mix node, hold control and press G, now we've created our node group, if you find the background is distracting just go ahead and get rid of it, it's up to you. So let's go over here to the node tab and what we can do we can rearrange these first of all so select the factor and let's rename this this is our eye mask and we can also move this up to the top this one is our movie clip 
and this one is the eye color. So let's just give this a color so we can see what's happening and tap back into it. Now let's change the blend for this mix node. And again, you can choose any one of these that you want. I'm first going to select soft light since it gives a pretty good job all around. But if you want to change this, go ahead and do that. So now we have this, make sure we hit clamp. And there we go. So the next thing we need to do is add in the second mask to get rid of the extra bits here. So I'm going to shift A, go to converter, add in a math node. And we've already done this in the previous tutorial with the, um, the patch node. So you guys may already know what we're doing. So let's add this onto here, this mask here. Then let's take this value and plug it into the bottom. Let's rename this. And we can also move it up to be underneath the eye mask. Now let's change it from add to multiply. We can still see we have this section here. So if we tab out of it, that's because the value is set to 0 0.5 at default. For example, if we change this to one, we can see we'd have the effect, which is what we want. If you set this to zero, you wouldn't see anything. So it's important that we set this to one. Now, some examples, you won't need an eyelids mask. That's why we set this value to one. But for this example, we obviously need the eyelids mask. So let's go ahead and bring it over. Then let's plug this in here. And there we go. Now let's tap back into the node group. And we want to make sure that we clamp this value as well. It's important we clamp this one because it can cause issues a little bit later on. So now we have this, we need to add some blur to the edge. So shift A, go to filter, add in a blur node. I'm going to add this to the top string here. This is the blur for the eye mask. So I'm going to left click in this box and drag down just so I can select both of them at the same time. Then I'm going to change this to a value of one. And then down here, I'm going to change this to a value of zero, just so the default value is zero. Then I'm going to plug this into the bottom of the group input. Then let's select this size here and change the name. This is the blur for the eye mask. And I'm just going to duplicate this, shift D, and drop it on here, just so it has the same values. And then I'm going to plug this into the bottom. And again, rename this. This one is for the eyelids mask. And the reason that they have two different values is because sometimes you want more of a blur for the round circle and less of the blur for the eyelids. Now let's go ahead and add in the mask for the garbage. So select this node here, shift D, just drop it in right after like this. Then I'm going to take this value, plug it into the bottom. And then we want to change this to subtract. And then let's go ahead and rename it, select the value. And this is the garbage garbage mask and I'm going to move this up to be underneath the other masks and we also need to add a blur for this one so select one of these blurs shift D drop it onto here and like before we just need to take this bottom value drop it into the group input and then rename this so let's make sure it works if we tap out of edit mode bring in our last mask over here so for this garbage, if we change this to zero, there we go. And then if we plug this in and then we can see that it works. So I'll tap back into it. So there's two more things we need to do is to change the brightness for the eye and then change the brightness for the eyeball. If you don't want to do either of these, that's entirely up to you. So from this movie clip to the soft light, I'm just going to shift A, color RGB curves and drop this in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mask here and plug this into the factor. Then if we take this white value, plug this into the bottom, we now have this white level, so let's change this to eye color brightness. Or you could name it whatever you want, whatever makes sense. Uh, so yeah, if we tab out of edit mode, now we have this value here, which is it's a color. If we click it and then drag this down, we'll see that it brightens the eye. So I'm not too happy with this as an input or as a value that we can change. So what I'm going to do real quick is just tap back into it. Let's disconnect this. I'm going to shift A, mix node, and then take this factor value and plug it into the bottom. Then I'm going to select the mix node and delete it. So I've just used the factor value and then plug this into the white value. Now we can delete this eye color brightness that we created. We don't need it. 
and we're actually going to rename this to be the same thing so now if we tab back out of it we have this slider value which i much prefer i mean this is t entirely unnecessary i guess but um yeah but i prefer to use the slider so maybe another thing we want to do is restrict how far you can slide for example we don't want to go to zero it gives you these crazy demon eyes so let's uh, tab back into it i'm going to select this here and then the minimum value we're probably going to give it 0 0.1 that can be the lowest it will go to and then for the default value i want to make sure that's at one and then if we go back to one and then try and bring it down to zero we can see it only goes to one so already it's quite extreme but um you kind of get the idea so now the last thing we could do is brighten these whites. So tap back into it. This is pretty simple. We're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did here. We're going to create a custom mask using these masks here. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to close this down so we don't need it anymore. I'm going to shift D and duplicate it. And then I'm going to place it right behind it like this. Open it back up. So we need to create a new mask just to affect the white areas. Between these two masks, we're going to create a new mask. So let's do that now. If we control shift left click on this blur node here, which is the circles, shift A, go to converter, add in a math node, drop this in here, take the eyelids mask and plug this into the bottom, then we get this, shift A, color invert, drop this invert node on the top here, and then let's change this to multiply, now we have this, we can also hit clamp as well. Now we can take this mask and plug it into the factor of our second RGB curves. And if we control shift left click now on this node, see what's happening. So nothing's changed. If we take this white value again and plug it into the bottom, so we can control it just like we did here. Let's go ahead and change this name. So this is for the eye white brightness. And then let's make sure it works. And again, we don't want to go too far down because it'll just go crazy like this. So we can restrict this. Go back a tab to go back into it. So the minimum value, I'm going to do the same thing as before, 0 0.1. So even that's way too extreme, but you, you kind of get the idea. So another thing you might want to do is add a bit of blur to the white mask that we created. If we go back here, go back to close this down. Go back to this mask here. If we click it and see what it looks like, we can see these lines are dead sharp. So we could add a blur node right here. Same thing we did with these. So we might as well copy this one. Shift D bring this over then if we drag this value out connect it to the bottom this is going to be for the, the eye white feather and again you don't want a great amount with this you just want to change it maybe four or five so there we go we've created our eye color change uh, node we need to make sure we name this as well Let's also click properties. Let's rename it here as well. And then make sure you save this. So there we go. That's how to create the eye color mask. Hopefully this helps optimize your workflow and speed up your projects in the future. If you enjoyed this tutorial or at least found it helpful, be sure to give it a like. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.